Texas! Memphis! Carolina. Kansas! All right, uh, all these places best known for American barbecue. So today, uh, we're gonna hit up one of the most famous joints in Los Angeles. Uh, it's called Bledsoe's Barbecue. Uh, basically, it's a guy that was born in Compton but raised in Texas and learned the craft of barbecue. Is his name Bledsoe's? Actually, it is. His name is Kevin Bledsoe, and uh, he's a famous uh, uh, TV personality. And so today, we're gonna go to his restaurant. We're gonna order up some meats uh, and maybe some sides. Uh, hopefully, we get to try uh, some of the specialties uh, around the most popular regions for barbecue in the US and I think it's gonna be a tasty meal so we're going to pick it up at the restaurant eat it back at the house and we'll see you momentarily the common see denominator ya. is three all right guys so we're about five minutes from the restaurant and instead of eating in we have to do curbside pickup because of Rona and Rona is so dumb like it's been over like a year almost a year so we'll just see you at the restaurant awesome thank you so much i know you guys can't uh smell this but oh my gosh i can't wait we actually made it back with our haul check out all the food that we got we got some ribs we got some pulled pork we got some brisket, right? We got cornbread. What is this? We got some coleslaw. Got some dessert. And this whole tub of barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. right? And my burger. And a burger that uh, Kaden ordered up. Uh, so uh, on the way back, we can just smell inside the car. It was just epic. Yeah. It was... smells so good. We're ready to eat, so let's dig right in. Brisket and hot links burger. Brisket and hot link. Basically, yeah. you're adding this and you're adding some sausages, right? Yes. So they call it red hot links. Guys, this looks so good. It's like charred. I know. Open it up and show them. Doesn't it look like char Look at this. Three, a three, a three, two, one, go. Wow. Oh, there's also coleslaw. Oh, so it's gonna be tangy and sweet and savory. Just everything. That's my guess. Okay. Oh man, it smells good. Mm. It smells good. <laughs> Let's hear Peter's reaction. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell already, you know, that it was going to be a very good burger. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, show them that sausage. Is that pork sausage or beef sausage? Mm. Probably pork. Pork, I think. Yeah, probably pork, right? I think American bar usually eat beef stuff other than brisket. Yeah, so brisket, Texas is known for brisket, right? The Carolinas are known for the pulled pork, and also Texas is also known for the ribs, well, right? What about Kansas? Kansas, I think, is known for their sauces. Sauces. Uh, correct us if we are not right, but I well, think and who's that's for what. Sausage? Sausage? Actually, I don't know off the top of my head. Do you guys Memphis? know? Memphis, I think, has to do with the dry rub. Comment dry down rub. below if you know where sausages are from. Or which region in America <laughs> does sausages really well in terms of barbecue. Mm -hmm. So, straight off the bat, is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. So, does that mean the rest right here is probably gonna be very tasty as well? Yes. All right, why don't we dig into the main event here? Devin. I Which piece of meat would you like to try first? You know me. Let's go for the brisket. All right, let's all go for the brisket, guys. Mm-hmm. Look at the brisket. Look at that. It looks very smoky. So, oh, look at that. You see that drip? Yes. Oh, Stay drip. Stay drip to the feet. Mm -hmm. So, wow, it smells smoky. And uh, the, at this place, Bloodsos, they basically said everything is cooked for at least six hours. They, at they, least? Yeah, they say it like low and slow, right? Low and slow. And then on the side, we got some uh, medium spiced uh, barbecue sauce to pair this uh, meat with. Oh, are you chopping it up? Yes. Oh! Bro, you don't even need a knife. Oh my gosh. Oh, what happened? Drooling, what the heck? Drooling? Mm. Spill water. 
That's proof that it's yummy. Really? Look, I'm going to cut it with my fork. I have a piece Look at that. here. It fell off easily. I thought we needed a knife, but no. All right, let's try. Brisket, baby. I'm gonna dip it with the sauce. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. Wow. It's like fall apart. Wow. That is good. Yeah, this is, mm -hmm. this is mm. good. Really good. I actually like the barbecue sauce a lot. It's tangy. Mm -hmm. Kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Not overpowering with any like one flavor profile. I think I mm -hmm. could eat all of this in one bite. Really? Show them how you eat it. Mm. It's really soft and tender. Really, really soft and tender. So what's your favorite thing about the brisket so far? The tenderness. The tenderness and the smokiness. Really? Guys, check this out. Look, you could just like, I'm using my fork here, okay? And just like that. Falls off so easily. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go in for a second dip. Good. Mm. Man. Rating straight off the bat? 10 out of 10 for me. Whoa. Yeah, well bam. Oh. Well, bam. I say it's gonna have 10. Well, bam! Straight off the bat, this brisket, amazing. Amazing, amazing. All right. The sauce is good. Let's move on, go from Texas. Let's go all the way east to the Carolinas. North and South Carolina, known for Mr. Their, Beast. Mr. Beast and pulled pork. And just a plug, shameless plug, we launch, uh, released our Mr. Beast video recently, so go check out that video. So check out the, the pulled pork. More like eat the pork. Look, pork. it's kind of like stringy. You see this right here? And I just got a little bit with my um, fork. Me too. Me too. Cheers. Carolina pulled pork. Mmm, that's super good. Wow. That's amazing. Straight off the bat, Devin. I want to hear what your reaction and what you have to say about the pulled pork. One word. Wabam. Wabam again? <laughs> okay, one thing I want to say about the pulled pork. It's leaner. Mm -hmm. It's much more stringy. And I feel like I need two buns to, uh, you know, make this into a pulled pork sandwich. Mm -hmm. I think that would be pretty good. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, then what'd you say about this uh, pulled pork? I think it's pretty good. Pretty good? Mm hmm What's so good about it? The, um, the smokiness. The Actually, product. I was about to say the same thing. One of the big flavor that I got is the, the smokiness of the pulled pork. And um, mm. you can tell that this thing has been smoked for some time. I like how it's not kind of like salty like the brisket. I like how it's just like its own flavor. Its own, its own flavor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try some of this pork ribs. Look at the, uh, look at the rub. This is all about the rub here. The blackened mm -hmm. rub. Now, I think this is a Texas style rub. Uh, I mm. might be wrong. Uh, it could be a Memphis. Woo! Dry rub. Look at I'm not exactly sure, but uh, all our barbecue experts out there, comment down below what you think this kind of barbecue is. You think this is Texas style, or do you think it's Memphis style? Mm. Pork ribs. Well, cheers. We'll see when we taste it. Let's see. All right, I'm going to dip it right here. Boom. Boom. There we go. Texas. Or Memphis ribs, here we come. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I barely got a piece of meat. Wow. Mmm. It's so tender. Mm-hmm. Oh, mine's not that tender. This is not tender? Mm-mm. Mine's -mm. kind of hard. Mmm? Mm. Oh. Mmm. Look at this. The seasoning. It's like a, a dry rub. Mm -hmm. And it's not too strong. It's not too strong. But apparently, maybe you, you bit into the wrong side. I get a little bit more charred flavor. 
Mm-hmm. This piece is not that tender. That piece is not tender? Mm -mm. You can see at the top right here is a layer of fat. Very thin layer of fat. And the rest right here, delicious. For me, I, I dig the ribs. Ah. Yum it. Mm. Mm. Oh man. So what's your rating? He's a wabam. Boom, boom, boom. Three wabams in a row. No, not for, for me. For me. For me, it's a nine out of ten. No, okay. Mm. Your least favorite out of the three so far. Mm -hmm. Devin? It's so good. So Devin? Good. For me, it's a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten? Really? The experience was ruined for me. Why? Because it's not tender. Not tender? And and um, there's a lot of bone and barely any meat in mine, so. Really? And if I got a better piece, then it would be a higher score. But mm. for this piece, in my experience, it's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Alright. I respect your. I like this one. Girl opinion. Your favorite is yeah, the, the brisket so far. No, pork. Oh, sorry. The um, pulled pork. Yes. Wouldn't you want to make this into like a sandwich? My favorite is the brisket so far. Yeah, I think. Mine, man, I get 10 for all three. I like them equally. Mm. All right. Why don't we try some sides? Get some veggie in our system. No. Coleslaw. Wait, I already have so much in here. Oh, actually, Kaden already has coleslaw um, in, in his. Take, I, take I, yours. I, this is their coleslaw, guys. You can see some pepper. I don't know if you can see the, the grinds in there. All right. Some red cabbage. All right, actually, this looks kind of good. I'm going to try it. Let's try it. Isn't that like purple though? Mmm. Oh. It's got like an acidic flavor to it. Yeah, it's kind of sour. Sour, you know what? Best thing to pair it back with some meat. So let's, let's go. go for another pulled pork. Mmm. Okay. okay, having a second bite on that pulled pork, mm. the meat's much leaner. Much, much leaner. Mm -hmm. I think right? it's more tender than this though. I actually want to say, if I had one way to describe this pulled pork, I almost want to say this is like the uh, chicken breast version because it's so lean. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's so it's lean. Kind of like shredded chicken breast. Yeah, kind of like shredded chicken breast. Exactly. Um, the other thing to have no, is like what is barbecue without having some good old fashioned cornbread? I don't like I don't like cornbread. What? You gotta try I it know. out. Cornbread Look. is um. Okay, let's split it. No good. No good. Check out this good, 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 good. cornbread. All right. Mmm. Mm. Okay. I think that cornbread by itself. Kind of well, dry by itself. Kind of dry by itself, but boy, it's quite greasy. What's your rating? Wait. Tell me what your rating is. The rating is gonna come after I have it properly. Always a good thing to uh, end off our meal here with some dessert. Um, we took a look on their menu, and they have a ton of different like pies and, and whatnot. Like so lime to pie. today we picked out the key lime pie. Check this out, guys. This is the key lime pie right here. There's like a, a layer of whipped cream and this must be some like, uh, I don't know. It might be like crushed lime and then down there is like, this is the, the pie right here. It's good, good old pie crust. Yellow stuff? Yeah. Let's try it out guys. Right down. So let's slap him out. It tastes very like the 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 bottom layer tastes mm. like sour, right. which is exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Lime yeah, really is good. sour, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Is it very good? I like it. What's your rating for it? I'm gonna go in for a second bite. What's your rating for it, Mister? Mine mm. eight out of ten. I say eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm.
Again, this guy is named uh, Kevin Bloodsoe. Born in Compton, but raised in Texas and learned the arts of good old American barbecue. Smoking, cooking meats, low and slow for many, many hours. Can you imagine waking up at like six o'clock in the morning and smoking meats for six hours? Yeah. Just to serve uh, lunch. lunch? Bruh. Every single day. Every day? That's, that's how, you know, you like, would have to do it. Go from raw to like this. Yeah. Right? Well, what if you want to eat it for breakfast? You have to wake up at like 1 a.m. Yeah, if you want to eat it for breakfast, you're going to have to w wake up at 1 a.m. Because... But who eats breakfast at 12? Well, what if it's you eat lunch. breakfast at like 8? Yeah. And you need prep time, so you have to wake up at like 1 a.m. And there's no, there's no right... I mean, there's definitely a wrong way to go about cooking uh, American barbecue, which Sorry, is... Sorry, I thought you said they smoke it for 11 hours. <laughs> no, 6 hours. I know, I thought that was crazy. Okay. So, so there's definitely a wrong way to go about uh, cooking American barbecue, yeah, which is going like, too fast, yeah, like, right? Do, 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 do. It's all about low and slow. Low that heat. Isn't it? It's tender and smoky. Yeah, tender. exactly. Low heat and slow cooking, right? You, you spin the, the the meat, right? So that it's cooked and, and smoked evenly and then every the single day. Yeah. Smokes it. Definitely a lot of diehard fans out there for American barbecue. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please let us know. Uh, what other parts um, that we haven't tried that maybe we're missing from our order today? And but we got uh, we got some brisket, we got some pulled pork, and we got some <clears throat> uh, ribs. Maybe we should have gotten some burnt ends. Mm, yeah. uh, that would have been like pretty these? good too, right? Kind of, yeah. You just cut it off at the end, right? Uh -huh. And uh, oh, let us know exactly which uh, regions um, is your favorite when it comes to barbecue, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's it for today when it comes to American barbecue. Uh, like this video, uh, share it with your friends, subscribe. and obviously subscribe yeah, as subscribe. usual, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll see you guys in the uh, comment section below and uh, wait till the next video. The denominator is two.